Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. So, to solve this problem for my solution, I'm going to first, let me rewrite uh, the equation right here. Now, to start, just by looking at this equation, what can we infer? Well, notice how we have x to the power of y minus something is equal to 17. And 17 is greater than 0, right? Meaning, x to the power of y is greater than y to the power of x. And this also must mean that x is greater than y, and y is greater than 0. So now that we know this, I'm going to rewrite my equation here, x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. And x to the power of y, I can rewrite this as x to the power of y to the power of 2 over 2, because 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1. And x to the power of y to the power of 1 is the same thing as x to the power of y. Now this, I can rewrite as x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So I can switch these up. Now y to the power of x, I can also change this up as well. So y to the power of x, I can rewrite that as y to the power of x to the power of 2 over 2. And this, I can rewrite as y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. Now from here, remember my original equation was x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals 17. Now I can replace x to the power of y with x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2, and y to the power of x with y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2 minus y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 17. Now I'm going to let x to the power of y over 2 equal to the variable a and y to the power of x over 2 equal to the variable b. So now if I substitute in a for x to the power of y over 2 and b for y to the power of x over 2, I get a squared minus b squared is equal to 17. Now if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So a squared minus b squared, that's going to equal a plus b times a minus b is equal to 17. Now the only factors of 17 are 1 and 17, meaning that one of these two has to be 17 and the other one has to be 1. So just by looking at this, we can tell that a plus b is going to be 17, and a minus b is going to be 1, because a plus b is greater than a minus b. Meaning, a, I have two equations, a plus b equals 17, and a minus b, b is equal to 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. a plus a is 2a, b minus b is 0, so these two cancel out, and 17 plus 1 is 18. So I get 2 equals 18, and if I divide both sides by 2, I get a is equal to 9. Now I can plug back in a for 9 into my original equation. So let's we could just do either one. I'm going to do a plus b equals 17. If I plug in a for 9, I get 9 plus b equals 17, meaning b is equal to 8. So a equals 9, b equals 8. And we can even check it over here. Let's plug both of these in. a is 9 minus b is 8. And 9 plus 8 does equal 1. So now that we know a is 9 and b equals 8, 
we can go back here and notice how we let x to the power of y over 2 equal a and y to the power of x over 2 equal b, meaning x to the power of y over 2 is equal to 9 and y to the power of x over 2 is equal to 8. So to solve this, let's first start by solving the first equation. So x to the power of y over 2 equals 9. I can first start by taking the power of 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of y is equal to 81. Now 81, I can rewrite that as 3 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to do the same thing to y to the power of x over 2. I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides, and then these two cancel out, so I get y to the power of x is equal to 64. Now 64, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of 3. So I have x to the power of y equals 3 to the power of 4, and y to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 3. Well, what does that mean? Well, y, 4, x, 3, and over here, y, 4, x, 3, meaning x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. So this is my solution to this equation. All right. So in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 5 to the power of x is equal to 50. So to solve this, I want to find the value of x. So to do that, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 5 to the power of x is equal to log of 50. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 5 is equal to log 50. Now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 50 over log 5. Now I'm going to rewrite this as log of 10 times 5 over log of 5. And... If I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So this turns into x is equal to log of 10 plus log of 5. And I have this over log of 5. So now this is equal to log 10 over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5. So then this turned into 1 plus log 10 over log 5. Now log 10 is equal to 1, so I get x equals 1 plus 1 over log 5. And 1 over log 5 is equal to 1.43 Zero six, so I get x equals one plus one point four three zero six, which is two point four three zero six. So this is my answer.